Hi there, this is Mark Haddad here again. So now in this lab, I have to show you how you can configure the DHCP client on the router. But before I do that, let me go to the lab scenario to show you what is our scenario. Then we can uh, start doing the points. So in the previous lab, all I have done is just connect the computer to the uh, router. I was connected to Ethernet 2 and then we put the uh, new router or S and we downloaded the, the Winbox, then we could uh, do uh, the changes. Now we need to start doing the router to connect to the Internet. Now, how can I make the router to connect it to the Internet? We are connected from Internet 1 to the Internet, right? That means there is a router here that I'm connected to it. Now, I need to enable on Internet 1 what is called the DHCP client. Why DHCP client? Because I want that this router, when it's powered on, that he will request from the DHCP server, which is the ISP router, he requests from him saying, hey, can you provide me an IP address, a subnet mask, a default route, and DNS? Because I don't have those information. Then this ISP router will say, yes, I can provide it to you. Then he will give him the IP. He will give him the subnet mask. He will give him the gateway, which is the default route. And he will give him also the DNS then by doing that, this router is able to go to the Internet. So that's the first thing that we need to think of is to uh, enable the DHCP client. Now, in case you are connected to an uh, ISP router that doesn't have the DHCP server, it could be having the PPPoE server, then you need to make the PPPoE client in this case and not the DHCP client, PPPoE client. Now, in my case, I'm not connected to a PPPoE server, that's why I'm using the DHCP client. But in case you are connected to a PPPoE server, then you need to configure the PPPoE client. All right, so now let's go now back to the points and start doing them. Point number one, enable the DHCP client on Ethernet 1. Did it receive an IP address? So I put the picture here. Let's go to the router. Connect to the router. And now how to enable the DHCP client? IP, DHCP client plus I would say I want it to be on Ethernet 1, receive DNS, yes. DNS is just to be able to map the IP to domain name. NTP is for the timing, yes. And I want to receive a default route also. And then I will say here, OK. And here we go. You see, directly it received an IP address. So 172.22.0.250, an IP address that has been assigned to Ethernet 1. And to check that, Look, IP address. This is IP address given. The subnet mask is slash 24. Let's check the uh, IP route to check the gateway, which is the default route. This is the default route saying to go to anywhere, go to 172.22.0.1, which is the ISP router. So to allow this router to go to the internet. And then finally, the DNS. Look. 8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. So it has also received the DNS. Very good. So now this router should be able to go to the internet and we are going to test it in a moment. Point number one is done. Point number two, try to ping 8.8.8.8 .8 and google.com from the router. Is it working? Let's try. We go from, let's go to the command line. And if I make ping 8.8.8.8, .8 .8, which is DNS for Google on the internet, I have ping. If I ping to google.com to check if the DNS is working, also I have ping. So now this router has internet. Very important that this router to have internet because if it doesn't have internet, how can it share the internet to our local users? All right, so that's all what we need to do in this lab. Point number two is done. And with this point, I have showed you how you can connect the Microtech router to the internet. In the upcoming point, I have to show you how we can configure the bridge interface. So see you in the upcoming lecture.